Hello everyone, it's an honor to present one of our latest studies the active effect of Rhizophagus irregularis inoculants on maize endophytic bacteria community. Our buscular mycorrhizal fungi are vital in agricultural and natural ecosystems. In 2019, Su Ling et al. argued that AMF acts as an ecological additive to promote plant growth under normal and stressful conditions. Currently, AMF is generally propagated in pot culture or an in vitro dual culture. However, there are many studies investigating the effects of pot-expanded AMF inoculum on crops, few studies on AMF from in vitro dual culture systems. Maize, a globally important food and feed crop, faces multiple stresses caused by industrialization, heavy metal pollution, and soil salinization. Endophytic bacteria, as an important microbial community in plants, play a key role in plant growth regulation and stress responses. Although the roles of AMF and endophytic bacteria in plant growth have been extensively studied, little has been reported on the effects of AMF inoculum from in vitro dual culture systems on maize growth and its etic microbial community. To fill this knowledge gap, we used high-throughput sequencing technology to quantify the effects of AMF co-inoculation and in vitro dual culture on the endophytic bacterial community under different air-drying conditions, and thus assessed their growth-promoting effects on maize. Highlights 1. Our buscular mycorrhizal fungi, AMF, inoculants play an important role in influencing maize growth and endophytic bacterial community diversity. 2. AMF inoculant carrying medium significantly promotes maize growth. 3. AMF inoculants carrying medium significantly increase the abundance of beneficial bacteria. We used both natural air drying and artificial air drying for the preparation of our buscular mycorrhizal fungi spores in in vitro dual culture system. We systematically evaluated the effects of Rhizophagus irregularis spores prepared by these two air drying methods on maize growth traits after co-inoculation with MSR medium in maize plants. The results of the analyses showed that maize growth traits under different treatments exhibited significant variability. Compared with the uninoculated control, inoculation with AMF significantly promoted maize growth, especially with the artificially air-dried and medium-carrying AMF mycorrhizal fungus. In addition, inoculation with AMF spores alone increased the infestation rate and intensity of AMF. By analyzing the copy number of 16SRDNA and ITSRDNA, we found that the abundance of endophytic bacteria and fungi in the maize root system was significantly increased by AMF inoculation, especially the bacterial community. Therefore, we further investigated the effect of AMF inoculation on endophytic bacterial communities in maize. We analyzed the species' abundance of endophytic bacterial communities in maize from different treatments and showed that the addition of AMF inoculants carrying the medium significantly increased the abundance of alcalogenaceae and comaminidaceae. In addition, volcano plot analyses showed the abundance of mitochondria was lower in the natural air-drying treatment carrying culture media compared to the natural air-drying treatment inoculated with AMF spores alone. However, Commaminidaceae with methyloversatilis became the dominant bacteria in the artificial air drying treatment carrying medium. Furthermore, correlation network analysis revealed a significant association between bacteria Alcaligenaceae and Commaminidaceae with biological functions, including 2 oxocarboxylic acid metabolism, sulfur metabolism, and carbon fixation in photosynthetic organisms. Further analysis using structural equation model revealed that AMF directly impacted soluble sugar content, while total chlorophyll content of maize directly influenced both maize biomass and soluble sugar content. In conclusion, our study found that treatments co-inoculated with MSR medium were more effective in promoting maize plant height and dry weight. And such inoculants co-inoculated with MSR medium could positively affect maize growth by significantly increasing the abundance of beneficial endophytic bacteria populations. But the specific response of the fungal community and the effectiveness of this inoculant for practical application in field environments still need to be further explored and verified.